Are you peeing, sir? I can see through the crack. My pee kind of smell weird. Oh. Hey, everybody. Welcome to today's video. It's, it's very loud. loud, very loud. This thing's a little bit scary. It kind of feels like it could break at any time. It's literally, some of the things just go. It's Saturday. It's Saturday here in uh, Jakarta. We were gonna go down to the Central Business District today, but we decided. What? A breath thing. What the heck is that? What is that? Can we eat them? We might be able to eat them. <laughs> we're gonna go down there, but we thought maybe based on the traffic that was going on on Google Maps that maybe uh, it would be a little busier in those areas than we want them to be. So instead, we're gonna get some Indonesian food. Oh. Seems like the indomie is so popular here that people just like kind of add their own little like uh, styles to it and they just sell it on the street. Because a lot of these stalls on the street really are selling the instant noodles. Yeah, and uh, they have like also like instant coffee and like instant, all the instant stuff they sell. Interesting. I think they could just like go to the convenience store and get it themselves. But anyways, what I was saying is uh, the malls I think are gonna be a little too busy for us. So it's busy as nuts out here on this road. So instead of doing that today on Saturday, we'll do it a different day and we'll go get some Indonesian food. Maybe things like, uh, hopefully, they have these very dangerous outlets. You could just get absolutely smeltered by a car. Seems like, from what we've uh, seen, that par is parking is a massive issue in this city. Massive. I mean, look at this. It's just, this is the sidewalk. Of the highway and also a parking lot but anyways hopefully we're gonna be getting some rendang rendong and some other indonesian places this restaurant up here has pretty good reviews and uh hopefully we can get some good stuff <laughs> hi <laughs> the kid just on the back of a bike on a highway very safe Mixed use are, we saw this in Bali and it was like, oh, it's popular in Indonesia. It came in, I think it said it came into Indonesia in like 2020 or 2018. And uh, little did we know how popular it was. They are everywhere. Well, this is quite the sidewalk to walk on, isn't it? It's an adventure. Is this it? I think this might be it right here. Let's see. Seems busy. Munich restaurant. Yep, that's it. Munich restaurant. It looks fancy. Wow, it's big. All right, you ready for this? Let's get some cracking. Rendang. Oi. Ooh, it is pretty popping. Yeah, it must be a big family event or something. I know this is a family restaurant or something like that. Yeah. Said. It's the Applebee's of Indonesia. Maybe. I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> we are in the territory of, we don't know what the frack half of this stuff is. Google showed Rendang, where the frack is it? Got a nice pot of boiling water that you're supposed to drink. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Think I always see you about to drink. It's like, no, 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 no. <laughs> the, the menu of this place was all in Indonesian. We knew we know a few keywords. We know nasi. We need where that means rice. We know goreng means fry. I am. I am chicken stuff like that. But when they're all mixed together, it's just and there's so many more you don't know. It's really we just did not know. And then when we're like, what is Munich. What is Munich? What is Munich? And then it's the name of the restaurant. Yeah, so the waiter gave us a few suggestions. We took his suggestion with one of the fish things. So we're gonna try one of the fish he tried, but we also came here for rendang. So we also got some rendang. Rendang in it, though. We I mean, definitely should have brought the mics. Dang, it'll be cool. Yeah, it's loud in here. Yesterday's sweet iced tea was not very sweet. Will today's be different? It's pretty similar. Yeah. Oh, well, you have a spoon this time. <laughs> and look at it. I put my straw through the ice cube. Oh, that's pretty thing. Cool, dude. That's pretty 
Rending, cool. <laughs> rending. We know it's not pronounced rending, by the it way. It is pronounced rending. What are you talking about? Oh yeah, sorry, sorry, it is. Rendong? No. Rendungle? No. Rending. We moved location to the outside. We're dining and dashing. Goodbye. Yeah, Just see kidding. you later. They, uh, have a, they have a massive outdoor area. It's kind of a cool restaurant. Hopefully the food's good. It was well reviewed on Google and it seems like it's sort of like a fancier restaurant, I guess, so. We are feeling some raindrops occasionally, which could be a very poor uh, situation if it starts pouring and our food is out on the table. Yeah, we may have to move back. <laughs> <laughs> but as of now, we're good. We're good, we're good to go. We have our boiling water, we have our very tea, iced teas. And if you get bored of using the straw, that's fracking epic. Now we just wait for our rendang and our fish and our nasi putis. What are you doing? I'm melting. You're, you can't handle waiting for the rendang? One thing we're scared of at this restaurant is the spice. One of the things they recommended looked really good, one of the fish items, but it was just sitting in this bath of chilies. So we we're like, ah. Oh. We have no clue what the one fish we got is gonna be on a spice level. So we're a bit scared on that, and then rendang. Rendang is already red. Yeah. So what the frack could that even be? You might die. I rend... don't hope so. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so how many spicy things have we ran into so far? Yesterday's KFC was spicier than expected. The corn in Bali was spicier uh -huh. than expected. Oh, the me goring that I got. Uh, yes, 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 yes. That's about it so far, but I haven't had much food. Recently. And then other than that, we ate a lot of like uh, European food. It's always a chance that we just insta-die from one of these foods. We'll see you on the other side. Spock. Ouch. <laughs> the rain's starting to come. It's sunny out still though. <laughs> Is that covered right there? Yeah. Exactly so. Should we? <laughs> yeah. Alright, here's our meal guys. We have this very scary looking fish. It is 10 out of 10. The scariest fish I've ever seen in my life. They literally just took, they like deboned. Oh, maybe there's still some bones in there. They deboned it by just fleshing out the flesh. All right, you can have the head. I'll have everything else. Uh... And we both have our cracking banana leaf roosters here. This is epic. Let me open up my banana leaf roost. That was so fancy, and it's in the shape of like a weird cone thing. Sick. Banana leaf roost. Roosting. Straight for the Oh, off. I ripped my banana leaf. No, you have to eat the banana leaf after. I'm sorry. All right, which one are you going to go into first? Let's start with some fisher boy. The fish. Have a fun attack on this fish. Oh. This whoa. is the sauce that came with the fish. Let me. It doesn't smell spicy. Oh, okay. Okay. There's some seeds in there that scare me, but I didn't expect this to be crunchy. This Whoa. part's really crunchy on the outside. Whoa, yeah, it's like a almost like a deep fried fish. And look at that on the inside. Oh, that looks pretty dang good. Some just super white meat. I don't know. Oh wow, it looks like some of the meat still goes. There should be some decent, a decent amount of meat on this fish. We got a fat daddy piece of fish meat. Gourmet Goring Tarbon. That thing that he just said. Whoa. Whoa. This fry on the outside is so good. Just immediately hits you with the flavor. And then obviously the fish is super soft, super tender. Really, really dang good. My gosh. This is like, it doesn't, give it a whiff of this sauce. It doesn't smell spicy at all, so it's. Oh, I think it's just like the sweet and spicy. It might just be like the sweet spicy sauce. But it's chunky. And not and as see-through. It's red. Mm. Oh. Oh. Is a sneaker spice? It's spicy for sure. There's a, it kind of tastes almost like a salsa to me. Salsa? Like a, a sweeter salsa. 
whatever is in there that makes it spicy hit just the, this side. So like just the side of my tongue has spice going through just it right now. Just a tiny little like glob you put on there. Just I don't know what up. in particular in there is the spicy part, but that is the part that I hit. The sauce tastes so good though. Probably the I'm, seeds. Yeah, it probably is. I think a seed must have just rolled down my tongue. It's super good. It's I think it's it's a little similar to the sweet and spicy salt, sauce, but it's more of like a salsa almost, which it, is pretty good. To me, it kind of looks like they added some sauce, and then they kind of like put it in a blender and blended up some peppers in with it. Yeah, it, it's got a peppery taste for sure. Um, but it mixes really well. I want to use it for the rest of the fish, but will IZ Nation be able to handle it? Uh, all right, we got some rending in here. Dang rending, dude. I'm ready for rende. I'll smash my little conular boy here. Seems like pretty decent rice. Some of the rices we've been having have not been up to standard, but this yeah. looks like it's up to standard. That's pretty good cracking rice right there. Is it amplified by the fact that it's in a banana leaf? Not 10 times it. If this, if it wasn't in a banana leaf, it'd be a zero out of 10 rice. But it would make you be like, Let's get a bit of this rendang. Rendang, I've had before. I had it in Dubai, but that's in Dubai. And we're in Indonesia now, so I'm gonna try something in Indonesia. You guys, is <laughs> rendang always be? I think so. I think so, but didn't we have something that was, oh, you had rendang nasi lemak. Oh, oh that was chicken. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I feel like every time I've looked up rendang, it was Indonesian beef dish. Okay, yeah, so it must just typically yeah, maybe you can take the rendang sauce and just put it on chicken like you can with other things. And rendang. What is it going to taste like in Indonesia? And is it... It doesn't smell like it should be spicy. Mmm. Mmm. Rendang's really good. It's such a... Mmm. Mmm. That's really juicy. Ooh. Not much spice. Yeah, it, but it... There's a bit in there. There's You can't go anywhere here without there being at least a little bit. It's It's been surprising how like, we'll eat something that we think might be spicy. For like 10 seconds, it's not spicy at all. And I kind of just, like my mouth, I feel it around my mouth a tiny bit, but not much. I mean, for me, I say my spice level was, is like I'm a little below the spice of the meat goring I had in the agacarda, because um, that was too much and it messed up my stomach, but so on like a global scale, you might be like a four or five out of ten. I mean, if that thing was level two, yeah, then I don't know. But that rendang is really good. It's such a unique taste. It's like something like I've never had anywhere else. It almost has like a curryness to it, but also a graviness, and it kind of and then it has the spices that you get in Indonesia. I don't know, it's so interesting, it's hard to describe. It almost has like a mix of a curry, a stew, and then like spicy sauce all in one. And then beef. And beef isn't even that like common, it seems like, on the, at the restaurants. No, not at all. It's all chicken. I am, I am, I am, I am, I am. It's everywhere. So, it's so crazy how good that is. I really like the rendanger, dude. You could describe it as pretty, pretty dang good. Could it, or he could really say it's really dang good, dude. Mm. So unique, so interesting. If you've never had a rendanger before, have some dang rendanger. That's all I'm saying. That was the grossest thing I've ever done. I'm sorry, I'm gonna leave now. All right, I got the fish. I'm gonna try the fish now. And uh, I'm gonna put a little bit of sauce on there. Rack it. I just wanna, I wanna die. Maybe Mixu will uh, calm it down. Oh, what did we just say? We're going to Mixu again? Yes. It's good. And it's fracking everywhere, so it's got to be popular. Fish, a little bit of sauce, and rice. A lot of rice. Oh, yeah. That tastes like a habanero. It really does. Mm. Mm. The left side of my song just has so much spice on it right now. Welcome to Indonesia. And soon, we'll be going to Thailand, which is supposed to be even spicier. So I'm sure we're gonna have a great time. Especially our stomachs. Heck yeah, I'm gonna try some fish straight up to it. Mm, yeah, yeah, the fry on that's really good. I'm surprised, at, what do they do for this? They cut it up and they're just like Yeah, they, that would be interesting to see the technique on how they can not only just fry it, but also separate the 
the meat. They're just professional cuts. Just I can do it. Watch. I'm just imagine there's a fish here. Oh, he's doing it. Oh, he's doing it. What the heck? Oh. He did it. Thank you so much. So coming to my fish talk. Are you gonna um, open a new restaurant? Uh huh. It's gonna be only these. Different fish in that way. I don't know if that makes it taste any different, but uh, this version tastes very good, and it makes me happy. All right, now let's take, both of us take a spoonful of this and... We'll just play rock, paper, scissors, and the loser has to drink the rest of it. I've never been more certain on a deal in my entire life. Let's do it. Rock, paper, scissors, tornado! Ah! I use the secret technique that all the kids know. <laughs> all right, you can try some rendanger. Hello, pals. Welcome to an episode of a dang good review. Today I'm going to be reviewing Rendang. Our uh, our series in Indonesia should be, is it spicy? Let's see. Oh, we had two pieces of beef in our Rendang. Interesting. Beef must be expensive here. Like you said, everything's been chicken. Yeah. For the most part. There's not a ton of places to put cows. This, uh, this restaurant had three total beef dishes and it had like 20 seafood, 15 chicken. But... Yeah. We're on a small island. Cows are fracking big. Cows are big. And they're cute. And uh, it's not the U.S. where there's just a million fracking miles of open plains to put cows on. It's not a ton of beef things in the Philippines either. No, definitely not. Just a lot of it is always advertised as imported to uh, Australian beef. They got a lot of room in Australia they too. <laughs> but dang, it's time to dang this up, you dangers. Something about the... That's so good. I mean, about the texture of the sauce itself. It's kind of got that like chunkiness, almost like a Bolognese sauce. It's got that chunkiness that that almost like makes it into its own thing. Like if you were to put it, like you could just eat the sauce with rice. Does that make it into a curry or a gravy or a sauce? I guess it kind of, you can kind of do that with all of those. You can kind of use rice with all of those, can't you? The flavors, you can really uh, tell there's a lot of spices going on in there because it doesn't just have one note. It hits all the notes at the same time. Isn't too spicy. It'll hit you right in the lymph nodes and you'll have to get them removed. The lymph nodes are triggering. <laughs> Ren dang, dude. That's all I gotta say. Ren dang. Why the heck are you saying dang so much? I don't know why. Is it like a joke or something? Don't do it. No, that's mine. Crack you. It's mine now. <laughs> Guys, I just thought of something epic. Take some crack and rending. Put it on some fish. Oh my crack and gosh. What am I inventing right now? Is this is this revolutionary? Come on, come on. I just made rending and fish. Pay me now. That's pretty. Rendang and good idea. I'm sure nobody's sick of us saying that by now. Yeah, because they probably think it's a really rendang good joke. Rendang. Going in to get our dessert now. Mix you. This is my new friend. His name is Snowby. Is that like Jollibee? Yeah. Ready? Ooh. That's the new bear. Captain Snowby. The mixture is acquired. Oh, well, look at this. We got some more flavors that we haven't tried yet. We gotta try the mixture at least six more times while we're here. And we still will have so much more to try if we do. We haven't even tried the frackin' ice cream cone, dude. What the frack, man? The ice cream cone was pretty dang big, too. It wasn't like a, they weren't skimping on it, and it was 50 cents what for it. What the frack, man? It's a frackin' deal, man. A frackin' fracker. Now we're just gonna head back to our Pretty nice hotel. The breakfast, it, you get a free breakfast. You can eat as much as you fracking want. The shower is fantastic. Best shower we've had in a while. Oh, it's fantastic. It's not in the best location, but no. if you want to be out of the chaos of the city, it's not too bad. Even though this route is, this road is very, very loud. It's just that's the only chaos is the road. You just get a few bikes driving by. But if you're just if you're just out here chilling, 
You got that good restaurant down there. You got Mixy right here. You got some fast food restaurants at this little bookshelf or bookstore mall here. What else could you want? Let's frack and go, baby. Look at that frackin' snowman! Chinese! Oh! I had my hand right here and it was, each time you said something, it just reverberated the entire wood. <laughs> now I'm gonna try some Chinese kiwi. Don't you dare hurt. Oh. There's kiwi in there. What the heck? Who would have thunk? Alright, I have to. Don't you dare hurt him. Oh, look at this. Like Narrowly missed his arm. It's like he's like, ah, drink out of my straw. Okay, cute, Snowby. Ooh. Ooh. It's really sweet and really sour. That's very good. I've never had a kiwi drink before, but that is really good. I really like kiwis. When they're perfectly fresh and they're a little squishy, and you're saying, <laughs> it's very delicious. And this is no exception. Yummy. Thank you, Snowby. Very epic. It's interesting, he's holding ice cream there. So it's known for, right? I mean, I think it said Chinese ice cream shop. Are we missing out on some ice cream? I guess I got some ice cream in mine. Oh! I guess the first time I did get boba ice cream. And I got ice cream in my mango one, oh. too. I got a strawberry smoothie. It's just a smoothie, and it comes with ice cream. Epic. Don't you dare hurt him. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> That's karma for trying to kill Snowy. I wasn't, I literally, I was joking and I went over here. <laughs> Ooh, Snowy. Oh, I should have mixed this first. His official name is Snowy. 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 That's gotta be good. I love you, Snowy. I'm not gonna drink from him. <laughs> He's too precious. <laughs> That's his Snowy guts. No! It is very strawberry and very creamy. That's so good. Snowby would never disappoint you. Snowby would always make you happy. I think I'm doing the salsa right now, right? This is how you salsa. Yeah, you need to do the Snowby dance. Snowby will always make you happy. <laughs> <laughs> we tried Ren Dang today. <laughs> and later, we know one thing. We have to try straight up Snowby ice cream. It's his poop. I like poop. Snowby will always make you happy. 